It's been what? five, six months since I've done some kind of PC upgrade video. So I figured I'm long overdue and I wanted to treat myself to doubling my RAM from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Hello guys, how are you today? David DeFranco here from kit.com slash David DeFranco. Yes, kit.com. That website is always linked right below. That link you can always use to check out my PC specs. Every single part I use, my video game collection, my desk, my consoles, whatever. Just go there to check out my tech and to learn more about my setup. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm doubling my RAM today from 16 gigs to 32 gigs. However, I can't just use like any traditional memory, right? You guys know me, I love my lights and I have been absolutely loving my Trident Z RGB RAM that I installed back in October in my second ever custom gaming PC which is right to my left. I'll show you guys in a minute. And I'm just loving this PC. It's been fantastic overall. Some issues here and there with hardware and Windows related things, but that's part of the process, right? Running into uh, problems and finding solutions to those problems. That's part of the beauty of building your own custom gaming PC. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just open up this RAM, install it, and be on with um, our day. Because as you probably know, RAM is quite literally the easiest PC upgrade you can do. It's plug and play. There's no cables. There might be some drivers, um, you know, involved, I guess you could say, involved here and there, especially with RAM like this because, again, it uses lights. I can't just put any traditional RAM in there. I guess I gotta say, I'm loving this RAM. Like, it's fantastic. There is one potential problem that I have to uh, mention, and that's exactly why I'm making this video. I'm not sure if this RAM is gonna fit into slot one, you know, RAM slot one, because it's really, really close to my liquid cooler for my CPU. Yes, my CPU cooler, uh, it's, it's just really tight. I'll sh show you guys in a minute, uh, but I'm hoping it fits. It should, it should. And if it does fit, it's just gonna be really tight. That's okay though, as long as it's in and it's working, I don't care. All right, so opening up the RAM, I don't know what that was. There it is, eight gigabytes each stick. As you can see, it's quite fancy for RAM. And here is stick number two. And I gotta say, it's got some nice weight to it. Okay, let's open up the PC, install the RAM, and just hope it fits. Okay, so there is my gaming PC. As you can see, it's currently off. But let's turn it completely off by flicking the power switch off on the power supply. And please, ignore all those cables. That's another project I'll do on another day. All right, the PC is completely off. I am going to unplug it just because I'm paranoid. There you go. Now, I would normally unplug the PC completely, like take the mouse, the keyboard, like all that stuff, unplug each and every accessory just because it makes it easier to lie the PC down flat. But because we're doing a RAM upgrade, I'm just gonna take the window off, you know, the side panel, and just install the RAM, well, as is. So. Here we go. Let's hope it fits. Unscrewing the thumb screws, and I gotta say, I absolutely love these thumb screws. They're so nice. Quite smooth, too. The best thumb screws I have ever used. And yeah, I know. They're just thumb screws, but there you go. Yeah, as a user who deeply cares about the quality of products, it just means a lot to me. All right, taking the window off, which is, by the way, Tempered glass. This is not cheap plastic, meaning it will not scratch easily. It's always nice to be inside the PC again, just to see how everything is looking. And overall, it's pretty clean. There's a little bit of dust here and there, but that's perfectly normal. As you can see, we have a little bit of dust on the GPU. I'll clean that in a second. Dust down here on the case. Dust over there on my USB card. It happens. Okay, let's install this memory. Make sure the RAM slot is flipped upward. Make sure the orientation is correct. This is gonna be really tight, but I'm happy to say it just fits. Let's see here, let's get nice and close. This is why I don't do PC upgrade videos, by the way. They're very frustrating because I feel like I can't show you guys the best angle. Okay. Damn, that is a really tight fit 
but it should be okay. Ramp stick number two, or number three in this case. Make sure the orientation matches. Flip up that switch. This one should go right in. Give that a push. Make sure it clicks and the door will automatically come down. Actually, the first one wasn't even in, in all the way. There you go. <laughs> I gotta say, that looks pretty badass. Sorry, that was a very unflattering angle. And they have it, four ram sticks instead of two. Now, as you can see, this is putting pressure on the first ram stick, so this is touching ram stick number two, which doesn't really matter. It's not gonna affect performance because these are tightly, tightly um, placed right now. So it shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's put the door back on, power it up and see if it works. I did clean the glass just a little bit and I cleaned the inside of the PC too, just to give it a nice little facelift. Come on. There you go, hold that in the place. I always do a crisscross motion. Just, you know, that way you apply even pressure. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's a side panel. It's nothing crazy. It's kind of straightforward stuff. It's common sense. And screw that back into place. Let's plug in the PC. All right. Let's turn the PC back on. If I can get back there. There you go. We have power. Now we have full power, let's see. The RAM always takes a second to light up. Hmm, don't scare me like that. I think it's because I installed new RAM. It boots twice, oh there you go, look at that. Damn, that looks cool dude. That looks amazing. And of course it's gonna look even better at night but to give you a preview. Let's turn all these lights off. And even have this light on over here. All right, that is really cool. Damn, that looks good. Now, the honest question is, do I need 32 gigs of memory? No, I don't use this thing for Photoshop. I don't use it for video editing or rendering or any of that stuff. It's literally a gaming PC and nothing else. It just games, but just knowing I have 32 gigs of memory, it's very cool because one, I've never had that much RAM in my life, really. My max has always been 16 gigs. And two, it looks cool. Like, it looks freaking awesome. Look at that. It is now complete. Easily worth it, guys. Easily worth it. It's not the cheapest RAM. I'll link it right below. Treat yourself. But hey, as a fellow gamer, a fellow tech geek, tech nerd, whatever, I'm sure you can agree with me in saying, why not? Guys, thank you so much for watching. This RAM is linked right below, so check it out. Um, and my next video will be a very special unboxing of whatever's inside that box. It's running. Of course, the second display is not working. That's just Windows being Windows. I'll have to restart it. That has nothing to do with RAM whatsoever. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.